A 13-year-old girl is expected to recover after she was bitten by a gator yesterday in Zolfo Springs. This is the latest gator incident where people have been attacked, even killed, in recent weeks. And our Eric Glasser spoke with experts about what they think is behind the recent surge. I couldn't believe it. Brian McKinley was saddened and shocked when he found out his friend, 47-year-old Sean Thomas McGinnis, had been attacked and killed by an alligator in Largo. Unnatural as it seems, since alligators don't consider humans prey, or so we've been told. I tried to swim in again, almost drowned. In the past few weeks since then, an 80-year-old woman was attacked and killed by alligators in Englewood. A man was also attacked at the Lake Manatee Fish Camp in Mayaca City. And on Sunday, a 13-year-old girl bitten by a gator near a Hardy County boat ramp in Zolfo Springs. More encounters are bound to happen. Spencer Schultz is a reptile expert at Zoo Tampa. We asked him whether he thinks alligators sharing an ever-shrinking amount of habitat in Florida are beginning to see humans as food. Normally, uh, humans aren't on the menu, but they associate getting food from humans. The more likely scenario, says Schultz, is that through millions of years of evolution, alligators still fear human beings. But if people feed the reptiles, they can begin to associate us with a meal. If they're approaching humans and let's say you fall in or you're playing in a pool, they see that as like a distressed animal. They see that motion. So that's the problem. I don't think it's evolutionary. I think that something like that would take a lot longer to develop. Fish and Wildlife estimates that there are now 1.3 million alligators in Florida living in all 67 counties, making it that much more likely that as the human population also continues to grow here, that such encounters will occur more often. Not so much a change in the reptile's diet as an overlap in habitats. In Tampa, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. And in this latest gator incident, Florida Fish and Wildlife has arranged for a trapper to remove it. Two of the three alligator-related deaths recorded this year have been in Florida. A third occurred last month in South Carolina, where investigators say a man was killed near a retention pond.